Okay, hi there and uh, welcome to a micro video. Uh, we're going to take a look at the basics of calculating the price elasticity of demand for a product. Three examples to work through. We're going to keep this very simple so that everybody has a good feel for the calculation expected in the exam. Uh, there's been an important change to the exam specifications and what examiners will expect to see. So price elasticity of demand is... Uh, the percentage change in quantity demanded for good X divided by its own price, the percentage change in the price of good X, hence own price elasticity. And normally the uh, elasticity demand is negative. There should be an inverse relationship between quantity demanded and the change in the price. However, the new specs and the marking require now students to include the minus or the plus signs along with the coefficient. So obviously we're interested in the coefficient of elasticity fundamentally is demand responsive or fairly unresponsive but don't forget to include the minus or the plus signs for each of the elasticities that you're talking about and in terms of coefficients if the coefficient is zero demand is perfectly price inelastic if it's less than one demand is price inelastic if it's more than one demand is price sensitive it's price elastic if it's infinity it's perfectly price elastic remember please to put the word price before elastic or inelastic. Saying that demand for beer or something is elastic or inelastic is not accurate enough with the new exam specifications. So keep that in mind. Let's work through three examples, simple examples of calculating price elasticity demand using the percentage approach. First one is the Munich Beer Festival. Uh, we're told the price of a litre of beer this year will be 11 euros 80. This is 3% more expensive than in the previous year and the number of units of beer drunk at the festival is expected to fall by 0.4%. Calculate the likely price elasticity demand for beer. So are beer drinkers sensitive to a 3% increase in price? Well demand is going to go down by 0.4%. So we just lock the data, put the numbers into the formula. In the exam always, always put the formula in get some credit accurate formula can get some marks and it's the percentage change in demand over percentage change in price uh, so it's minus 0.4 percent divided by plus three giving a coefficient of elasticity of minus 0.13 uh, in this case to two decimal places well that's a low figure isn't it you know the beer drinkers are barely changing their consumption of beer uh, if there's been a price increase so in this situation demand is price inelastic. Second example, the cafe bar in a town or city currently sells 150 meal deal bundles each day at a price of £4. As a promotion, they cut the price to £3 and find that sales of meal deals expands to 220 per day. Again, calculate the PED for this price cut. So, uh, put the formula in, percentage change in demand over percentage change in price. Uh, percentage change in price is 25%. The price has fallen from £4 to £3. That's a 25% fall in price. And in terms of quantity demanded, well, uh, a change from 150 to 220 is a change of 70. Over the original 150 is plus 46.7%. So nearly, nearly double sales. Sorry, nearly 50% increase in sales. So therefore, it's plus 46.7 divided by minus 25 gives a coefficient of elasticity of minus 1.87. What's more than one? So demand in this example is price elastic. It looks like uh, customers are sensitive to the, to the price of a meal deal. Perhaps people, word gets around that it's a three pound meal deal instead of four pounds. And lots of people scurry to the shop to get their meal deals. So in this situation, elastic demand. Here's our third example uh, to do with the sugar tax. As a result of the sugar tax or the sugar levy, the average price when buying a half litre bottle of Coca-Cola regular Coke with the full sugar in there will now cost an extra 12p, taking the price from £1.37 to £1.49. Some analysts are forecasting that sales of regular Coke will fall by 7% as some consumers switch to zero sugar alternatives. Again, calculate the likely price elasticity demand for regular 
can be covered. So we just need to again do the calculations. Uh, put the formula in. Coca Cola is costing an extra 12p for the half litre bottle. It was £1.37, now uh, £1.49. Well, the change is 12 over the original £1.37. That is a percentage change to 1 dp of 8.8%. .8%. Price has gone up by 8.8%. Sales estimated to fall actually pretty close, 7%. Therefore, it's a minus 7 over a plus 8.8, .8, which gives a figure of 0.8 to one decimal place. Demand in this case is priced in elastic. The coefficient is uh, less than 1. We should, of course, put minus 0.8 in there, if to get based on my advice. Uh, so it looks like in this situation, there has been a switch to low or zero sugar alternatives. But there hasn't been a dramatic change. It's a relatively low elasticity suggesting perhaps that uh, uh, coca-cola drinkers buy the drink in part because of the sugar content there we go i've taken you through uh, taken you through three examples of how to calculate a price elasticity of demand i hope you found that helpful